Hello Aries! Luna trines Mars on the 1st and Luna opposes Mars on the 6th of February. Let's see how your ruling planet of Mars is going to affect you this month, Aries. I'm Pastor Rosemary. Thank you for joining us. This is an angelic horoscope transmission from your Aries angel, Melchidael, who resides over your cardinal fire nature. And these are his messages for you in love, money, and health. Now first, your love transmission, of course, the most important, always. Now your love life is going to have a time of a lot of understanding on the first, the first day of February, because again, Luna is trying Mars on that day. And this is a day when you're going to be able to get along very well, of course, with water signs. There'll be blessings of plenty again, with water signs, where you have, uh, you know, good relationships with your Pisces and Cancer friends uh, and romantic interests or spouses. Also, Scorpio, which usually is a little more difficult for you to get along with because you're both ruled by Mars, although Scorpio are also ruled by Pluto. But because of this, usually it's a little bit difficult for you to get along with them. Now, you're going to be able to get along with them on the 1st. So if you have difficulties that you want to iron out or work out, that would be the day. On the 1st of February, when Luna is trying Mars. Okay, now on the 6th, Luna opposes Mars. So that's going to be a day when there might then be difficulty, you know, some difficulties with Cancer, Pisces, and uh, Scorpio individuals. So just be aware of that. Re remember, love is changeable. The moon is very changeable and inconstant, obviously. So that's going to cause emotions to rise and fall. You cannot uh, corral someone's emotions or feelings. People's emotions change with whatever they had for breakfast, lunch, or dinner, or whether or not they had a certain beverage or not. You understand. It's very changeable. The will and the emotions are not the same thing. Commitment is different from emotions, as you know. So wondering how someone feels is lovely. And there's times to work things out and times to, to sort of avoid situations. But in reality, commitment is commitment and you work through the good and the bad times when you're committed, as you know. Okay. Now, on the 3rd of February, that's your full moon in Leo. It's a snow moon. So Leos are going to be a little kooky on the full moon. Okay, so you know, kind of just don't need to deal with them if they're kooky at that time. Especially people with their moon in Leo are going to be very kooky around that time. Okay? Now, on the 18th and the 19th, there's a new moon in Pisces. And that's going to make people feel empty in what they believe in. Okay? What you believe in. You might feel that your beliefs are just empty. Now, that's not really true. But this new moon in Pisces may make people feel that way. And so it's not so much that it'll affect you badly, but it will affect people who are more affected by things like belief, like Pisces. Okay? Now, money matters are going to have problems on the 26th when, uh, excuse me, on the 28th when Luna is square Mars. That's going to cause financial difficulties between, that's the 28th, between you, Aries, and your Cancer friends or love interests. Okay? So there's going to be a, a, a blending of money security and love and it'll be difficult on the 28th now on the 26th there's another good aspect on the 26th where Mars is trying Saturn okay so 
that's a time when money issues come into a good uh, aspect because Saturn rules over Capricorn and also it rules over Aquarius and these uh, as these signs and also the aspect of Saturn is about law okay so that has to do with money and that's going to be good for you when Mars is trying Saturn for money money not love money situations business situations not love money on the 26th okay and that is going to make business relationships good between Aries and Capricorn or Aries and also Aquarius okay now as far as your health issues go and your health matters Mahida El's health transmission for you Aries is that you're you're going to probably have some issues with maybe you know feeling like you have a head cold or stuffiness in your head and that's going to fall when Luna opposes Mars on the 6th it'll be better on the 1st and it'll be okay again on the 12th but it'll be at its worst on the 6th you want to have a heads up for that uh, no pun intended but whatever works okay now Mars trying Saturn on the 26th what that's going to do to your health uh, that's going to uh, uh, it's going to affect your 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 bones and it's going to affect your legs in a good way on the 26th that's a good day for healing now on the 28th when Luna is square Mars again you might find that you're protecting yourself so much from getting some kind of flu or cold or you know some kind of uh, respiratory illness or airborne illness you may feel so that's on 28th you may feel like you want to protect yourself so much that you actually cause yourself a problem in this issue with get, getting vaccinated that's up to you and, and it depends on you know all kind there's all kinds of uh, reasons why a person may or may not need to get vaccinated that you know that that's a very individualized thing that people have to discuss with their physicians okay however too much protection you can't uh, your immune system becomes weak you understand too much of help in any one area causes a person to not be able to uh, you know do things for themselves in that area be it something in the physical world that they're doing outwardly or even inwardly so if, if people you know are getting too many antibiotics for example uh, then too much too you know then of course they're not going to be able to have antibiotics be effective because you know yada yada as you know the because then the bugs are going to uh, be, become stronger so in other words you understand what we're talking about too much being concerned and over protection and over care will care you to death so strength and you don't have to protect yourself so much okay all right so now for a little afterglow Malkita L's a uh, little afterglow for the dates to keep an eye on the first when Luna is trying Mars of February the third when we have a full moon a snow moon in Leo the sixth when Luna opposes Mars the 18th to the 19th we have a new moon in Pisces and on the 26th Mars trine Saturn that's a good aspect and on the 28th Luna square Mars that's difficult don't overprotect between you and whatever uh, you know health issues you're afraid of but also also this is a difficult aspect between you and cancer and Pisces people especially cancer people uh, on the 28th so watch out for that um, in your associations with those people because it's a hard aspect okay all right Thank you for joining us, Aries, and join us again next month. I'm Pastor Rosemary.